utaomba mara tano kwa siku utaenda mpaka uende popote unaweza enda utasaidia maskini utawapatia msini ya msini kwa barabara lakini hazito kupeleka mbinguni kwa sababu mbinguni unaenda kwa kumwamini Yesu Kristo si kwa kutenda mambo mazuri si kwa kutoa sadaka kubwa ya wizi kanisani mtu anaenda kanisani unataka kutoa ile ile pesa kubwa sana as if you are cleaning your you are cleaning yourself guilt you keep on cleaning your guilt but at the end of the day when you die the bible says once again and will repeat the bible says that it's appointed for man to die once and after that judgment and that day is coming the day of judgment is coming and you shall be judged for every deed that you did for everything that you did every reckless word which came out from your mouth you shall be judged hata post ambayo ulieka kwa facebook you will be judged for it everything you said the many times that you cast god watching movies any time that you cast god while laughing with your friends you shall be judged because god's judgment is coming and the only way you can escape god's judgment is by the gospel believing the gospel because jesus died to set us free when you know the truth the truth sets you free he that knows the truth will never be bound again jesus loves you so much that he gave his own begotten son i mean god loves you so much he gave his only begotten son the only son so that whosoever believes will not perish but will have everlasting life for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that through him everybody will be saved you know people think that god sent jesus on earth to come and condemn us to tell us you you are doing this you you are doing this no jesus came to the earth to set us free we were already condemned by the law of moses but then jesus came to set us free and whoever has the son has life mwenye akona Yesu kwa moyo wake basi akona uzima wa milele and the bible says that i've written unto you these things to those who believe in the name of the son of god that they may know that they have eternal life ili uweze kujua kuna uzima wa milele ndio mungu amekuandikia hivyo vitu vyote viko kwa biblia amekuandikia jinsi anakupenda jinsi alijitolea jinsi ye mwenyewe anarudi tena jinsi wewe mwenyewe ukiamini utakombolewa ili wewe uweze kujua kuna uzima wa milele najua dini nyingi hazizi kuambia kama utapata uzima wa milele kuna dini nyingi sana zinakuambia wewe fanya tu matendo mazuri lakini ukishafika hela ukisimama mbele ya Mungu ataeka vitu vyako kwa mizani alafu akwambie kama wewe utaingia au la wacha nikuambie hakuna vitu vinaiko kwa mizani lazima ujue leo kama we mwenyewe umekubali the bible says these things have been written unto you who believe on the name of the son of god that you may know that you have eternal life ili uweze kujua kuwa uko na uzima wa milele na ukijua uko na uzima wa milele hakuna kitu kinafurahisha kama hicho ukiona dunia inaendelea kupagawa kila siku basi wewe una chochote cha kuogopa Utaogopa nini na unajua kwa kweli mimi maisha yangu yako set. Angalia kutoka 2019 dunia imekuwa imeharibika. Haieleweki tena. Mambo mabaya yanaendelea kila sehemu, kila mahali. Watu wanaoana, watu wana mashoga wamejaa, wasagaji wamejaa mpaka inaletwa kwenye kwenye parliament. Kwa kweli jiulize swali moja. Shetani ameingia kila mahali. Kila mahali. Na wewe kama utasikiza Mungu basi utapotea na hiyo hiyo dunia. Na sasa hivi ametupatia wakati ambao tunaweza sisi we need to make a choice. Tunaweza ku make a good choice now when we are still alive. Make that choice my friend. Do not be left behind. Usije ukasema niliona mhubiri akihubiri kwa barabara na mimi nikakosa kusikiza na saa hizi niko hapa na sada meno o mungu nitoe hapa 
Mungu nitoe hapa nipo wakati tena niweze kusikia. Tafadhali naomba tena kama naweza papa wakati tena. Watu wengi hiyo siku watalia. Watalilia Mungu tupe chance tena Mungu. Tupe chance kingine tuweze kusikia tena. Tuweze kutubu lakini itakuwa ngumu. Mungu anakupenda ndugu yangu. Na kama umesikia hii habari njema, na hii habari njema imekuguza kwenye moyo wako. Kitu ambacho unahitaji kufanya ni kukubali wewe mwenye dhambi. Na usikie habari njema. Na ukubali habari hii njema uiamini. Halafu utubu, umwambie Mungu jinsi ambavyo umeelewa. Umueleze kwa kweli Yesu Kristo umekufa kwa dhambi zangu si kwa sababu ningejiokoa lakini we mwenyewe umeniokoa kwa neema yako hicho ndicho unahitaji kufanya na ndugu yangu kishafanya hivyo hakuna kitu kingine unahitaji Yesu anakupenda alikufa kwa dhambi zako na hakuna kitu kingine ambacho unahitaji kufanya yeye mwenyewe ashafanya kila kitu asafanya kila kitu So ni wewe mwenyewe tu kuamini. Ni wewe peke yake kuamini. Ndugu yangu, usije ukafa ukakumbuka huu wakati. Usije ukapitishe siku ukisema kesho kesho kesho, alafu kesho ijaye ni Mungu. Mungu amekuja kuokoa watu wote. Haijalishi wewe ni wa aina gani. Kuna watu wanasema mimi tayari nishaingia hadi kwa ushetani. Siwezi toka hapa ni ndani sana. Kuna wengine shetani anawaambia wewe ukitoka utakufa leo. Wacha nikwambie Mungu ana nguvu za kumshinda shetani. Haidhuru uko kwa vitu vigani vipi? Haidhuru umeingia kwa nini? Haidhuru ulifanya agreements na kaa vipi? Na wale uliagree na wao Haidhuru ulifanya nini? Uliingia hata kwa ushirikina ukatoa kafara watu. Mungu anaweza kukusafisha kutoka hizo. Na akakufanya kiumbe kipya. Shetani hana nguvu mbele ya Mungu. Ametudanganya sana kwenye barikiwa sana. Ametudanganya sana kwenye movie ya kuwa yeye ni mkubwa kuliko wengine, lakini Mungu anatupenda zaidi na ashajitoa yeye mwenyewe akakuja kwa sababu yetu na wewe ukiamini hakuna kitu hawezi akavunja hakuna minyororo ambayo haezi atakata damu ya Yesu Kristo inavunja kila minyororo ni wewe mwenyewe uamini basi wewe ukiamini hautakuwa tena vile ulivyokuwa utakuwa kiumbe kipya Yesu Kristo anakupenda Mungu anakupenda na amekufa kwa dhambi zako. Na anakuja tena. Na anakuja kujudge kuhukumu dunia yote na kila mtu ambaye yuko hii duniani. Whether anampenda ama umpendi, ni wakati tu. Time will tell. Time will tell because Jesus is coming very soon. And I'm sure us, most of you have already heard this word over and over. All you need to do is believe. All you need to do is believe. All you need to do is believe. Jesus being the son of God, he did this for you. So that if you put your trust in him, then you'll never perish, but you'll have everlasting life. You will never perish, my friends. When people are perishing, they are perishing in clubs and bars and, and they are perishing with diseases and other things. You will not perish because The Bible says that God shall give you here on earth and even in the afterlife. And you don't have to be afraid of the terror by night or afraid when you go through the valley of the shadow of death. You don't need to be afraid. Jesus loves you and he cares for you and he's standing calling upon you, knocking at your door so that if you believe you shall be saved. He's knocking at the door telling you for sure this is the time the right appointed time it's never about religion it's about faith in the only begotten son it's about faith in the only begotten son of god jesus loves you brother jesus loves you he cares for you 
that is coming soon. God bless you. He's coming soon. And he's coming to pick those who are of his. He cares for you. He's coming for you. Jesus loves you so much. And there's no other beautiful time to be saved than this moment that you're alive. We are living totally at the end of days. You can see everything. You can see what is happening, completely everything. You can see it. You don't need to be told. You can see the wars and rumors of wars. You can see pestilences. You can see with your very eyes. You can see all these things. You don't need to be told. These are the last days for sure that we have been told. They have been written before our very eyes. So that if you believe, if you believe what the word of God says, and you believe in the only begotten of God, you shall be saved. God bless you and have a beautiful time.